Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. It appears like Alexis will request that Christina and Molly set aside their conflict in order to help Sam. Molly and Christina might decide to attempt getting along, at least for the time being, since that's what Sam would want. Carly Spencer will be informed by Danny Morgan that it is his responsibility to watch out for Scout Quartermain in the interim. Carly might, however, demand that Danny is allowed to mourn this loss as well and rely on others who love him. The fact that Sam's hospital stay ended so brutally is difficult for Scout to comprehend. Scout will still have a lot of questions so Drew Quartermain will reassure her and swear to be truthful with her at all times. Rocco Falconeri will face additional guilt over Sam's death at the Guillet Chapel. Laura Collins will continue to stand by her grandson and explain why he is not at fault, despite Rocco's insistence that it is his fault. Sonny Corinthos will still support Dante, even though he has been blaming himself as well. Sonny might encourage Dante to remain strong for Rocco's sake and make some predictions about how they would eventually overcome this agony, even if he won't want to live without Sam. It appears that Jason Morgan will then have to confront the tough responsibility of informing Damien Spinelli about Sam's passing. Spinelli will be deeply affected, but he will also be concerned about Jason's reaction to learning that his ex-lover is no longer in his life. When Jason thinks back on his time with Sam, he will maintain that he has Spinelli's friendship because of her. Despite the sadness of everything, Jason will always be thankful for that amazing gift, and he will spend some precious time with Spinelli. According to other General Hospital rumors, Holly Sutton will inquire as to if Robert Scorpio is excluding her from his life. Holly is aware that she made a huge mistake by keeping the truth about Sasha Gilmore Corbin a secret, but she will hope that Robert will be able to forgive her in time. Finally, here are General Hospital spoilers for Monday, November 4, 2024. Fans can anticipate a reunion between Holly Sutton and Robert Scorpio, Tristan Rogers, in the upcoming episode. For Molly Lansing Davis and Christina Corinthos Davis, Alexis Davis has a particular request. In addition, Sam McCall's unexpected heart attack has everyone in shock. Find out what will happen in the upcoming episode of the ABC soap opera by reading on. Indicate that news of Sam's untimely demise is getting out. Sam was doing well and recuperating from surgery. Then she turned abruptly, and that was it. Although it feels really strange, Portia Robinson believes it to be a heart attack. Will Sam's heart attack be found to be suspicious in the autopsy report? The consequences of Sam's passing will be felt. Danny Weber informs Carly Spencer in Monday's episode that it is his responsibility to watch out for Scout Quartermain. In the meantime, Scout is informed by Drew Kane Quartermain that he has vowed to always be truthful with her. Laura Collins is passionately informed by Rocco Falconeri at the hospital chapel that he is to blame for Sam's death. After Sam's passing, it appears like at least one of the children will begin acting out. Thus, that might create some fresh plot options and dynamics. According to Monday's General Hospital teasers, Sonny Corinthos tries his hardest to help Dante get through his loss. Sonny hears Dante's heartfelt admission that he doesn't want to live without Sam. On Monday, November 4, Holly and Robert go back in time, could Robert and Diane Miller's romance be impacted by this? Additionally, Jason Morgan informs Damien Spinelli that Sam is the reason they are friends. Sam will probably have a memorial service or funeral of some sort. However, I find myself wondering whether Sam's autopsy will keep her in tales for some time to come. According to General Hospital spoilers, when Sam McCall and Lulu Spencer both made it through the transplant procedure, Port Charles as a whole exhaled with relief. Of the two, Sam was expected to have the simpler process because he was the donor, and she appeared to be doing really well for a while. Dante Falconeri was her first guest, and he surprised Sam by popping the question at last. Sam gladly agreed, and everything appeared to be going according to plan. 
However, Sam's condition rapidly worsened when Alexis Davis subsequently paid her daughter a visit. Alexis was handing Sam the chocolates she had snuck in one minute, their best and then Sam Dr. Lucas response. Jones and the other staff members were unable to save Sam's life. Portia Robinson told Lucas that Sam appeared to have had an embolism, but there may be more to the story. Several weeks prior, Lulu's ventilator abruptly shut off. Lucas thought that someone might have tampered with a machine that was keeping Lulu alive because the equipment didn't seem to be broken. This is oddly similar to what has occurred to Sam, but Lulu was saved in time. Sam seemed perfectly normal until he started coding. It's possible that someone tampered with her IV before Alexis came and after Dante left, even if toxicology findings won't be ready for a little time. It appears as if there could be a murderer in the general hospital corridors. However, who might it be? Dr. Isai Gannon, a recent arrival, is one suspect. Other than the fact that Isaiah and Lucky Spencer are close friends, not much is known about him. Cyrus Renault, however, is much more likely to be engaged. For months, Cyrus has been skulking around Lulu. Unless he feels he is somehow carrying out God's plan, it is currently unclear exactly why he killed Sam. A fact, an embolism could have been the cause of Sam's death, but the problem with Lulu's ventilator seems to point to a more serious situation. Regarding Sam's departure, a lot of GH viewers have taken to social media to express their ongoing indignation, as well as to commend the on-screen performances. For her heartbreaking sequences in the October 31 episode, where Alexis learned that Sam had died, Nancy Lee Gran received her share of praise. Alexis experienced denial, agony, rage, and all the emotions in between. In that instant, it seemed like a very genuine depiction of grief, perhaps even too true for people who have experienced comparable circumstances. On X, the former name for Twitter, Gran engaged with some struggling followers and expressed her sorrow for their inability to watch something that was too personal. It was hard to witness Alexis come to terms with this devastating fact, even for people who haven't lost a child or another loved one in such an abrupt, tragic way. Sam was too cold, so Alexis insisted on getting an extra blanket from Portia Robinson before joining her in bed. Before all of Alexis' feelings ultimately came flooding out, we watched her cling to a false hope. In a memorial ex post, Nancy V. Grand talked candidly about Kelly Monaco's last performances and showed her TV daughter some love as she was leaving. Let's examine Grand's thoughts on Sam's depressing farewell. It was just as difficult for me and my casemates to play as it was for hashtag K fans to watch today's shows and the ones that would come after. Gron added a heart emoji after saying, Playing Kelly Monaco's mom has been effortless and the love is real. Dante Falconery and others will be able to say their own heartbreaking goodbyes now that Jason Morgan and Alexis have done theirs on screen. According to our projections, Sam's death will have a significant influence on the canvas, so we'll keep you updated on how Port Charles will be affected. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.